I get messages every single day like, what settings do you use? How long was the dry time? Or what was the dry temp on that? But honestly, 90% of the time, my settings stay exactly the same. Here, screenshot them if you want. Freeze drying shouldn't be stressful. These seem like big, confusing machines, but once you get going, it's actually pretty simple. And as long as your food is already frozen solid by the time your vacuum pump kicks on, you're already starting out in pretty good shape. So if you pre-freeze your food, this is something you honestly don't even need to think about. And if you don't pre-freeze your food, it's honestly not a big deal. Add a couple of hours of extra freeze time so that way your food is rock solid before your vacuum pump kicks on. And when your machine says it's done, don't trust it. Double check it like you're double checking your kids' chores. Seriously. And if it's not completely dry, toss it back in the machine for a couple of hours and check it again. And just keep in mind, there aren't many mistakes you can make that'll actually destroy your freeze dryer. Trust me, because if you've watched my videos for any length of time, you've seen me put my freeze dryer through some pretty wild things. Spills, overflows, foamy disasters, and after a quick cleanup, and sometimes not so quick, it still runs perfectly. So don't let this expensive machine sit there and collect dust. You bought it for a reason, so go use it.